Harry Potter and the Chamber of Diversity is finally out and uh, oh wait a second that's the wrong game. Today we're actually talking about Forsaken, Forwoken, Forgotten, Forbidden, Forbroken, Flop Spoken. I can do this all day but more appropriately named Garbage the Game. Get ready for the complete destruction of the Nickelback of RPGs. Hit the like button. You know unfortunately my worst fear has has come to pass. Poor Spoken is basically a Ubisoft game. Empty world plus boring story plus repetitive tasks equals that will be $70 thank you. How about you suck on a stray dog's dick? Because the smell of failure that this game just exudes is incredible. Square Enix, the people who made this, watched the Unreal 5 gameplay demo and said, you know, let's make a bad version of that. The main character, who I'll just call Sassy Girl Boss for now, or the actress rather, was also in Charlie's Angels. That was one of the worst, I want to say the worst, diabolical, pathetic remakes ever made. So we are off to a great start. That is a one-two punch of trash, trash, and more trash. And just like Charlie's Angels, Flop Spoken came out of nowhere and can easily be forgotten just as fast. I mean we all know that a late review embargo is a sign of a bad game. It happens almost every time. It's almost as if the devs don't want people to be informed about their game. That is just a strange business model. Now the first thing to know about Forspoken is to disable the audio dialogue. Because it's so bad, Forwoken makes you jealous of deaf people. It's so horrific that it makes me feel like I treated J.J. Abrams too harshly for the dialogue in the Star Wars sequels. Yes, it's that bad that I want to apologize to Jar Jar Abrams. I mean, how f dare you create a character whose entire personality is like a Marvel character making jokes. I mean it really makes you appreciate silent protagonists even more. You know the writing is bad when you have to pad out lines by adding swearing every other word or else your character has literally nothing at all to say. Tell me you don't know how to write meaningful dialogue without telling me you're a dumb fucking moronic bozo. This is what happens when you let the story control the game instead of the other way round. That coupled with the main character who's just insufferably entitled. In a world that she just doesn't understand, this, this character is the epitome of what people loathe in a lot of kids and adolescents these days. And the writers somehow thought that that's what people wanted. The writers must have been in a total echo chamber or a bubble if they didn't realize how bad it it sounded. Sassy girl boss and her weirdo friend's awkward attempt at portraying a buddy cop relationship makes me appreciate how natural and funny Santa Monica made Kratos and Mimir's relationship. You can see the difference between someone who actually gives a Anyway, Square Enix is going to take a bad hit with this pile of flaming garbage. The investors aren't going to be happy with this flop, but you know, it's cool that publishers are now selling mediocre tech demos for $70. Isn't it such a great time to be a gamer? Anyway, look. Poor Spoken puts you in an amazing adventure with seven hours of duration in a vast, empty, uninspired, generic world. Yet a vast and large number of empty fields to justify the fact that she can run and she can run just so stunning and bravely across a field. I'm crying over here at just how fierce she is. An empty open world. How original. Ubisoft sends their regards along with their horrible, terrible filler missions. See, when a company withholds review codes, this is typically the result. This feels like a game that was never meant to be an open world, but somewhere in production they got forced to turn it into an open world. It just shows you they didn't have any clue about world building and just thought a fantasy world would require little effort. Managed to design a game with so many major flaws without realizing it during development and yet marketing it as the next big thing. They are clearly disconnected. Forspoken is
is yet another chapter in the please Square Enix stop sh in your pants in public saga and on that bombshell i'm going to leave you with a clip that almost made my head explode while i was playing it this clip that you're about to see encapsulates everything i hate manix is indeed out did i just do that well definitely with my assistance i did not just do that we did i just moosh it with my mind. Perhaps our connection has somehow awoken some abilities. I just moved shit with my mind. I just keep hearing I, I, I. I just move shit with my freaking mind! <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, talk to sentient cuffs, kill jacked up beasts. You know what? I'll probably fly next. Now you're just being ridiculous. Oh, that's too far. Good to know there's a line. If you could just master these new abilities, with my help, of course. Um, did you not just see me take out that gnarly beast? Oh, bring it, you mangled monsters.